Come in at 5 and 11, losing five of their first six games and then rebounding nicely to finish 3 and 5 in the A10. So we're underway. This is for the final spot in the quarterfinals. Everything else is set. It'll be the number one seed, St. Bonaventure, taking on Duquesne tomorrow. Then UMass, the five seed, taking on St. Louis, VCU, and Dayton. And then Davidson, the three seed, waiting the winner of this one. What kind of pace do you expect early? Do you think Mason, knowing that uh, GW played last night in a tough game, are going to kind of out and maybe push the pace a bit I, more? I do think that. I think Mason wants to get off to a quick start. You see right here, they were able to get a steal. They got a little help side defense that led to the steal. They're settling for more individual play and jump shots from the outside, whereas in the Patriots, they're driving and kicking out. Very astute observation. Okay. Make sure it just wasn't me. Ball taken away, so the Colonials have another shot at it as we go under 14 to play here. A much slower paced game than we've seen throughout the day. A little more methodical, and let's not forget this is a rivalry game. The two Georges getting together. Nice backdoor cut up and under. And a beautiful play there as James Bishop converts after a nice pass from Chase Parr. Set your feet okay. and cut off dribble penetration. Coach Paulson is a character in our pregame interview. I asked him a few things. I said, you know, you can take your mask off for this interview. He says, my wife says I look better with it on. Yeah, he did tell us that. My wife likes it. And then, of course, he had to get a gratuitous shot in at me. Yeah, he's also got a face for radio. <laughs> Jordan Miller connects. Miller now with six points to lead the scoring for the Patriots. Two-point lead coming up on eight minutes to go here in the first half. That was a contested jump shot by Bishop. Gets nothing but air as Green tears it away. Man, you gotta like Kolak, just a freshman, known as an outside shooter, and there he's driving in amongst the tall trees and laid it up very nice. A lot of standing. I think guys have some tired legs. Battle. And one. So the same spot that Battle buried that huge three in the win against Fordham, everyone went for the fake. So you get the dribble, you get the kick. Ball knocked away, Arduro with a nice interception. That pass intended for Chase Parr, and back come the Patriots. Kolak showing that he can drive, putting up the left, going to the right. Bishop has been their man on the drive. No foul called, no travel called, and they're going to get an and one on the big throwdown. Hunter D. Oh, beautiful fake. Great defense. Went for the dunk, couldn't get it down. Jamison Battle leads to a fast break. That's, that's going to be goaltending. I love this fake by Battle. That's just a big time play. Under seven to play with Davidson waiting on the winner of this one. They'll go at it tomorrow night. You got to think George Washington, if they get there, they're going to be absolutely exhausted. Two games, two nights, make it three in a row, and that's a nice three to keep them in the mix as it's now a five-point lead for the Patriots. They need a stop. Desperately need a stop. Miller can't get it, but he does get the follow out to Kolek for three. Perfect time to hit your first three of the night. Yep. Just a huge play and an unselfish. You're right, making the extra pass. Bishop coming back in the first half. That shot would have fallen. Excellent defense. Here comes Miller with the left and in. A five-point run over the last 30 seconds for the Patriots. Mason now just trying to take care of it, finding open men for easy dunks. A.J. Wilson. Smart, smart, think, think. You know what, if you're gonna get two baskets, why not make them both dunks? It's just tired, guys. And with the shot clock winding down, 
and a putback. I tell you what, A.J. Wilson has come in. He's had three shots, three baskets, two of them dunks, and a stick back. Yeah, there you go. Bishop tallying another three, giving him 29 points on the night, and that will do it. Second round is now complete, and the win goes to the Patriots of George Mason as they beat the Colonials of GW by a score of 73-59.